Hello friends and welcome to this little update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today on the channel we're going to be discussing what is on your screen right now to this side is the um, May International Challenge, which is coming up a week on Friday, so a week tomorrow it will be starting. Sign-ups are actually live now. Uh, the reason why I'm covering this, I wouldn't normally cover this sort of event because these kind of happen periodically and um, we got a tweet I was at work earlier on today and out of the blue out of nowhere we got a tweet from the player Pokemon company and um, they have announced for all of you out there including myself that want to compete in this tournament that are aware of the official VGC um, structure obviously with what's going on in the world at the minute the whole season's being kind of cancelled and uh, there's no news on when that will be starting up again, and your guess is as good as mine. It's really sad, disappointing, but it is just one of those things that we're having to deal with at the minute. Um, hopefully, everything will work out fine, and we'll come back, and it'll be great again. But in the meantime, uh, they have announced, getting on to today, in conjunction with this May International Challenge, which is an online tournament, uh, you can participate on it through your Sword and Shield versions on your Switch. They are making this an official VGC qualifying tournament for all countries around the world. We'll get into the details in a minute to play in a kind of championship cup, which they are running uh, later in the year. So it's a little series of tournament qualifiers. They'll be running now. There'll be one now, one in July. And then I think we'll get into the details in a minute. The, uh, the actual event will be in August. So as you can see, all the links will be down in the description below. Um, but we'll navigate over to the, uh, the Pokemon website you can see here play pokemon players cup that's what we're calling it online tournament for pokemon not only vgc but we've got tcg as well pokin as well so it's like all the the big three are going to be featuring in this tournament so um masters division competitors in the pokemon tcg pokemon tournament dx and sword and shield uh using obviously the 2020 video game championships format will have the chance to prove they're the very best in this prestigious new online tournament. So very exciting, very exciting, because we've obviously had some um, members of the community putting on absolutely incredible tournaments over the past few months while the, the, the lockdown situation's been going on. So massive props to them. Pokemon Company now getting involved with this, so very exciting, and especially because it's an official event as well. Uh, the Pokemon Players Cup not only will give event uh, give you the chance to show you're among the strongest competitors in the world but you can also look forward to watching lots of high level matches between top players so it's giving us the indication that we will be able to spectate some of these tournaments i don't know how but that is also very exciting. Uh, the Pokemon Players Cup will have two stages in July. Eligible players will compete in a double elimination bracket broken down by rating zones to determine the top players from each rating zone. Then those top finishing will finish off in a final stage of Pokemon Players Cup in August. So there, there we go. We've got the prelim preliminary rounds coming up uh, a week starting Friday, tomorrow. And then in July, we're going to have a further double knockout elimination bracket. And then in August, we'll have kind of the final penultimate event of this uh, Players' Cup, which is very exciting. So it's in three stages. Um, so uh, where are we going? Uh, qualify for the Players' Cup through rankings on the June leaderboard uh, in the Pokemon trading card game online. So that'll be online. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield competitions will qualify through the international challenge may online competition which runs from may the 21st like i said a week tomorrow uh friday and will use the 2020 video game championship format which is just the current vgc rule set which is series four again that'll be linked down in the description below um i'm sure a lot of you that already play vgc or follow my vgc content will be familiar with the rules so you'll be fine there make sure to bring your a game to these upcoming qualifiers and um dx pokemon tournament players are able to register directly for the first stage of the the players cup at a future date so that is yet to be announced um each of the Pokemon TCG, Pokemon DX, and Pokemon Sword and Shield competitions will kick off with a special invitational event this. Uh, the winners will qualify for the final stage uh, of the Pokemon Players Cup, so make sure to follow along. Masters of Vision competitors 
in the Sword and Shield video game championship. So that's what we're kind of really concentrating down on today. Uh, we'll need to finish among the top eligible trainers in their current rating zone for the main international challenge to qualify for the Pokemon Players Cup. Your rating zone will be where you're situated in the world, obviously. If you're North America, that's your rating zone. If you're in Europe, then obviously it kind of goes along the, the lines of, you know, where you are in the world. That is your rating zone. So um, North America, though, the top... 256 rated players in the May Challenge next week will qualify for the stages in July. Uh, the top 256 from Europe, again, will qualify for the July double elimination bracket. Oceania, so that would be uh, Australia, that side of the world. They have the top 128. And then Latin America, so that's obviously South America, uh, Mexico, and places like that, uh, will be the top 256, uh, same as Europe and North America. So good luck to qualifying players and the players' uh, cup uh, trainers. Practice hard so you can prove. Uh, only master division players who have opted into participating in available play Pokemon programs are eligible to participate in the play Pokemon players' cup online tournament. So this is what I'm saying. If you have uh if you have not or if you have got a um player account for to play play pokemon so you've got a trainer id this is what you need so if you're brand new to vgc what you need to go over to is pokemon.com and register to get a player id now that player id is what you need to link up with your sword and shield copy of the game and you can do that all on the play pokemon website so the link to the play pokemon website obviously be, be down in the description again if any of you guys need a hand with that just message down in the description uh, the comment section i'm quite happy to help you guys out with that um, i've already got a player id so i can't really show you the examples of how to do it in this video but I'm sure you'll be fine. It's pretty easy to do. Just registering and then linking your game, whichever game you'll be playing with, with your trainer ID. Okay. So um, I'm assuming that you'll only be able to play with one copy of the game against your one ID in this. So it won't be like multiple copies of the game. Um, now, getting on to the May International Challenge, uh, we can take a look at this. This is just on the Switch. So you can come over and take a look at the details here. Um, as you can see, Nice artwork because we've now got Gengar and Machamp and all the gang involved here. So the sign-up period, this is the important bit, Thursday the 14th of May until Friday the 22nd of May. So as a sign-up period, uh, entry will not be allowed once the competition has started. Um, we'll go through how to do that in a minute competition period so it will be from friday the 22nd of may like i say a week tomorrow 1 a.m british standard time uh, until monday the 25th at 12 59 a.m uh you can register your battle team after the start of the competition so you don't need to register a team until the tournament begins so don't worry about that um obviously the juniors uh can obviously participate in this but they're not in the players cup unfortunately um not eligible for it yet hopefully we'll get one in the future where we get seniors and juniors involved as well as the masters um this just outlines what division you would be in ranking results will be in may i guess they're normally the tuesday or the wednesday after the tournament finishes um and then just the little bonus participation gift participation gift if i can speak it's been a long day been at work <laughs> give me a break um i'm only kidding uh we do get another casual tea it's the ultra ball guy tea this time uh you can complete this once yay so you get that um and that's it all right so the the format is obviously double battles uh you bring a team of six pick four um that you'll all be leveled down either up if they're under 50 or if above 50 they'll be leveled down to 50 in the battles um and eligible pokemon i'll link the series 4 rules down below timers you're going to get a total of 20 minutes per battle uh player time which is your time seven minutes uh you get 90 seconds per turn uh sorry 45 seconds per turn in 90 second team preview uh you can play up to 15 battles per day um and that will equate to 45 battles for the tournament okay so there are all the details. Again, this is on your Switch. If you've got a Switch, you can go over to that. So to register on your Switch, to register for the tournament, what you need to do, go to your menu screen, go to your Victory Station menu, click on Battle Stadium, and um, this will take you through to the, the Victory Station kind of main screen, the landing page, I guess, when you're connected online. Um, and then what you need to do is just scroll down here to online competitions 
and then search for official competitions and this will search this will pop up uh, you want to register obtaining data blah 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 so you see all the details here we've already been through and um, so we want to just hit a and that will enter you in the tournament so um here we go it goes through a little few things uh tells you about your your account and things like that do you want to enter this competition enter so we are officially in I will try and either stream my games or I will just record them and then upload some and then like cut it down, condense it to see how, show you how I've done and hopefully I can qualify for the July event, which would be amazing. I'm really pumped about this. I think it's an amazing thing that Pokemon are doing. It's a big step forward as well for official VGC tournaments and um, having something like this online because the big prize, for the eventual winner is um, a... A, a travel award to one of the international championships um which are the the big prestigious biggest events of the vgc season so i'm not i sure which one you're allowed if you can have the pick which that would be incredible so um obviously it's going to be a really tough tournament but very exciting getting to probably play it. lots of really really top players at the same time so that is about everything that I want to say. I don't think I've missed anything. If I have, um, I do apologize. I'm pretty excited. Um, I just wanted to get this up as soon as possible to get you guys uh, in the know about it so you can get teams prepared, you can start practicing, and more importantly, get signed up if you want to play this tournament. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, have a great rest of your day. I will catch up with you all very soon for another video on the channel. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like. If uh, you've got any questions about anything that I've mentioned today, do leave them down in the comment section below. Um, and I will see you all for another video very soon. So until then, my friends, take care of yourself as always. And I will see you for the next one. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.